Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Mage Knight Highlights video. Uh, today we're going to go through my five favorite skills for Wolfhawk, excluding the motivation as usual. Uh, the first one I chose is um, Deadly Aim. So once a turn, add plus one to a card that provides any type of attack in the range to siege attack phase, or plus two to a card that provides any type of attack, including sideways in the attack phase. Um, yeah, so... I mean, like plus one in the Rage of Siege attack phase can often be the difference between uh, defeating the enemy and um, having to go through and try and block it and then take it out in the attack phase. Um, so yeah, that is obviously quite a good benefit in and of itself. Uh, but then um, if you don't use it in the Rage of Siege attack phase, uh, you can still use it in the, um, in the attack phase uh, and you get um, a boost a boosted benefit of plus two instead of the plus one in the range of siege attack phase um, and also the thing i really like about this is um, it basically doubles the effectiveness of a card plate sideways because usually obviously if you play card plate sideways is is only plus one attack um, but with this skill it, it turns into a plus two um, so yeah that, from that point of view it can be can be incredibly uh, helpful to to wait and use this in the attack phase um, but yeah, mainly whenever I'm using this, I'm hoping to uh, obviously not have to go through the block phase and try and block an enemy um, and get rid of it in the range of the siege attack phase if I can. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one then is Refreshing Breeze. So once around, except you're in combat, flip this to get heal one uh, and one white crystal to your inventory. Um, I chose this, like obviously heal is, uh, or heal one is, is great to have. Um, just to get rid of any uh, any wounds that you you haven't managed to get rid of in uh, previous turns, uh, but the white crystal to your inventory with Wolf Hawk is is really great. Uh, number one, obviously, she has mana draw, uh, so having guaranteed access to a white mana for that, um, you know, if the maybe maybe the source is not particularly favourable in terms of the the mana that it's offering, um, just having this available, um, being guaranteed uh, to be able to use mana draw. Um, if you have it in your hand is uh, incredibly incredibly useful but then secondarily um, the white crystal also plays well with uh, uh, wolf hawks uh, swift reflexes uh, basic action card so, um, so the stronger effect of that gives you move four range attack three or reduces one enemy attack by two um, so yeah that is um, that's incredibly useful uh, especially against the elemental attacks so being able to reduce those by two can save you a lot um, either in terms of the amount of block that you have to use a uh, particularly inefficient block or um, yeah just um, the reducing the number of wounds that you have to take um, from from a, an elemental attack um, and then also uh, if you're lucky enough to get uh, something like uh, Dodge and Weave as an advanced action card, obviously the White Crystal will um, will go uh, will be very useful for for that card as well. Um, so yeah, that is the the reasons behind the, that choice. Uh, the third one then is um, Know Your Prey. Once around during combat, flip this to ignore one off of offensive or defensive ability of an enemy token or to remove one element of one enemy attack fire and ice become physical cold fire become ice or fire uh, cannot be used against enemies with arcane immunity um, so yeah this is great particularly for um, so for enemies that have like paralyze ability or uh, something like that um, those are typically the enemies that I'm uh, I'd like to see least given um, you know you don't really um, have uh, a great option other than to to block them and sometimes you know if it's a freezer or something they have obviously their elemental attack uh, three ice attack um, for the freezers um, that can be quite punishing if you don't have the the necessary elemental block to be able to do it efficiently um, so yeah being able to uh, to use this skill and uh, ignore um, the the offensive ability um, particularly paralyze I find is uh, incredibly useful so yeah that is um, know your prey uh, the fourth one then is um, taunt so once a turn during the block phase either reduce one attack of an enemy by one or increase one attack of an enemy by two and reduce armor of the same enemy by two to a minimum of one the armor reduction does not happen if that enemy is prevented from attacking uh, so yeah this is 
great. Obviously, on this side, you have the uh, just the straight um, reduce one attack of an enemy by one. Um, so that's obviously good against uh, elemental attacks. Um, but then you also have the option on this side. Uh, maybe you have more block than you need against, I don't know, a Draconum or um, even uh, in a final um, one of the city assaults. Uh, you can increase the uh, the attack, but then um, you decrease their armor, so you're saving quite a bit uh, of uh, attack points, especially if uh, they have some resistances that uh, you don't have efficient attack for. Uh, so this skill gives you a lot of flexibility, um, and yeah, it can be uh, quite powerful in the right situations. And then the final one is uh, Howl of the Pack once around, except during interaction. One card played sideways gives plus four instead of plus one. For each of your command tokens with no assigned unit, it gives another plus one. Uh, put this skill token in the center. The first player who encounters combat with enemies returns the skill to you face down and reduces the armor of a chosen enemy by one and one attack of the same or another enemy by one. Uh, so this is an absolutely great card, just turning a uh, card played sideways into a plus four uh, at a minimum. And then obviously that will increase if you have um, command tokens with no assigned unit. Um, yeah, I've got an, an awful lot of this card, um, you know, whether it be movement, attack, block, uh, any of those. Uh, and then obviously you have the, the benefit on the next turn um, of reducing the armor of an enemy by one um, and also their attack um, or the attack of someone or of another enemy by one. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it transforms like Often, what are often dead cards where you just play them sideways for one uh, into something that can be extremely powerful uh, giving you at least plus four uh, and sometimes more so yeah that is uh, Howl of the Pack so those are the five that I chose for Wolfhawk uh, be interested to hear anyone's thoughts on what cards they choose uh, or sorry not card skills um, for Wolfhawk uh, which ones are your favorites um, that is going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hope you can join again next time. Thank you.